job in this one, man. So malaria is caused by a parasite and this is this tiny microorganism that infects us as humans and it does so by infecting our human red blood cells. And this is quite important because our red blood cells are the cells that transport oxygen throughout our bodies. So what the parasite then do, do is they infect all these red blood cells and by doing so it can, uh, these red blood cells cannot transport oxygen throughout our bodies and in by doing so also the parasite changes the red blood cells and it blocks our vasculature to our organs and therefore it leads to organ failure and if a patient is not treated this can lead to death of the patient. So this malaria parasite is actually quite a clever organism because it's able to infect mosquitoes as a vector but it doesn't make the mosquitoes sick and it has a different form in the mosquitoes and when a mosquito bites humans and this is usually female mosquitoes so they have to take a blood meal they inject our uh, anticoagulants into our blood system to keep our blood flowing to eat from us. But in doing so, they then inject malaria parasites to us. And the malaria parasite then transforms. So as it is injected to us, it transforms to a different form. And this then goes and infects our liver cells. And for about two weeks, these parasites hide away in our livers. So you're not going to know that you are infected after a mosquito bite um, by this parasite, but you are getting um, massively infected by billions and billions of these parasites in your liver. They then burst, and that is how you get uh, symptoms of malaria um, as a disease. Not all mosquitoes are able to transmit, uh, well, any uh, of the mosquito transmission uh, transmitted diseases. So in Africa, there are three main species, Anopheles arabiensis, Anopheles gambi, and Anopheles funestis. Those three uh, are the main ones that are responsible for the vast majority of cases. There are different ways in which you can reduce your chances of uh, contracting malaria, and, and obviously the one that is uh, mooted or, or promoted most is uh, to take your anti-malaria prophylactics, the uh, tablets, uh, preventive tablets. But uh, probably even more important, or equally important at least, is to minimize your contact with uh, mosquitoes. And you can do that in different ways. Um, the Department of Health, at least in South Africa and many other countries, many, most countries in fact in Africa, spray, uh, apply insecticide to the, ins uh, to the insides of homes. Uh, you can use uh, bed nets, uh, which are very effective, and it's highly recommended for small children. Um, that are not quite as active and good at reducing their contact with mosquitoes. Um, then also apply repellent substance, substances uh, to um, reduce your attractiveness to mosquitoes and especially use it on your ankles and feet because that's the one area of the body, especially when you're outdoors, that uh, all three of the main malaria vectors in Africa zoom in. Uh, it's the ankles and feet, so pay particular attention to reducing contact by way of repellents or wearing socks and, and, sh and uh, long pants and so on. We have a, an insectary here which is basically a room with controlled temperature and humidity and we rear, we keep a colony of malaria mosquitoes here. Uh, they're not actually infected with malaria but uh, it's the same mosquito Anopheles arabiensis that transmits malaria. It's the main uh, vector for malaria in southern Africa, the inland, more arid savanna areas. And uh, we breed up and rear and maintain this uh, colony to do various experiments, uh, repellency studies to see uh, if we can find materials that will uh, keep uh, mosquitoes away from, from your body. Uh, trapping techniques and so on. So different uses for these uh, uh, mosquitoes. And it's only the female uh, Anopheles that feeds on, on people for blood. Uh, females need a blood meal to be able to lay eggs. The eggs need uh, nutrients from, from the blood, whereas the males only feed on nectar and other fluids, not blood. So the symptoms of malaria is very non-specific. What we find is that it can feel like flu and what you see is that people uh, usually start with either the fever, a diarrhea or they can have headaches and this will actually then persist and actually get worse.
we divide it into severe malaria and non-severe malaria. If we talk about non-severe malaria, usually you can have oral medication. With the non-severe, people mustn't vomit because as soon as you vomit, you can actually vomit out your, your medication. And so uh, there are basically two types of uh, oral drugs that we take. The one is coartum, which is a combination product of uh, artemisinin and also lumefantrin. The other drug is uh, called uh, quinine, and that is an oral drug that you later combine with either doxycycline or another drug to make sure that you get rid of all the parasites. So um, if you have severe malaria, of course, this will mean that you have specific symptoms, and then we will rather then put you on uh, intra intravenous uh, therapy. This intravenous therapy will uh, entail either we will give you articinate, which is a quite a new product, on the market which is very effective or we will go back to quinine which is again IV quinine and for that we have to put you on a monitor to make sure uh, that you don't get arrhythmias and also test the whole time if your glucose are normal.